It'll help, definitely. Aurora's Park Lane pool looks close to pristine. It's getting there. And almost ready to reopen for Memorial Day weekend. Okay, I'll hear. Despite the hard work and renovations, brand new changing rooms, bathrooms, all of that, the pool will be empty most days this summer. We are experiencing a pretty severe, you know, lifeguarding staffing shortage. Alec Raymond is Aurora's aquatic supervisor who wishes he had more people to manage. 100 positions, yes. Alec says Aurora is short 100 lifeguards, which has a ripple effect. The city's outdoor pools will have different schedules this summer, and most will open only a few times a week. Having these smaller neighborhood pools is something that we love having and being able to offer, and that's one of the reasons why even on a limited basis, we are making sure that you know we at least open all the pools. Denver is also dealing with fewer lifeguards. The city will close several indoor pools this summer, so there's enough staff for outdoor pools. It's a new world for all of us in aquatics, you know, always looking for lifeguards, always have been ever since I started as a lifeguard. Aurora is offering free lifeguard training and bumped up starting pay 28% to $16 an hour. We've put out what we felt like is a fairly competitive starting rate. But it could be a summer of open jobs and closed pools. We want to open more and the public wants more open. Noel Brennan, 9 News. Denver is pushing back the opening of the outdoor pool season to June 13th, and that's going to give the city more time to hold two more lifeguard certification courses. Boulder also making changes this summer. Spruce Pool will stay closed because they can't hire enough lifeguards. That's, that's too bad. It is too bad because yeah. everybody looks so forward to that. Yeah.